Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, June, wait, Wednesday, June 23rd, and I'm actually going to be having my first admission today, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Stick around if you guys want to see what it looks like to do a hospice admissions. Alright guys, I am preparing my bag to make sure that I have everything that I need for my admissions. Um, what do I need? Make sure I have my gloves. So this is my bag that I have. Um, I have my notebook in here, my admissions papers in here, and some gloves and then just whatever else I may need. Oh, my stethoscope and my assessment tool. So that's what I have. I'm going to head over to the patient's house right now. So I'll see you guys there. And we're back. It is actually Thursday, June 24th. It's 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. I ended up having two admissions. I got one yesterday on Wednesday and then another one today um, that I was able to go to. So yesterday we saw the family. Um, both of the patients that we saw were both going to be residing at home and the families were the caregivers. So the thing about hospice is that they have a choice. I meant there's always going to be the primary caregiver. So the patient can live in a home or the patient can reside in a facility where they'll have caregivers there, but the family is responsible for that. So today I'm actually going to be charting for my patient for today um, because yesterday I did it. I went through the whole everything about um, going over hospice and I made my binder. I finally was able to make my binder, which has all of my cheat sheets and checklists and information that I will use when doing my admissions and when charting and all the information that I would need. After that, um, I got my binder. That's what I kind of went over this week. We went to the patient's home, did an assessment, you know, basically explained to them what is hospice, what do we provide, and it's basically to support the family. Majority of the time, the patient is really, really rare, only see the patient for do an assessment 10 15 minutes but majority of the time when i was at the patient's homes we were there for an hour and a half we were just talking with the family talking about what they need seeing what they need and the support that they need so that's what we did so today i went back to the office and i went over my notes and my charting with my preceptor and we went over everything how everything needs to be completed and now i'm just signing it um, and actually sending it out. After seeing the patient, what I would do is go on my phone and then I'd send an email out, email out to the pharmacy to see which medications the patients need and send out an email for equipment that they need like a hospital bed, a side table, oxygen, and I'd also send out a request for supplies for um, patient supplies like trucks, diapers, pull-ups, wipes, those kinds of things. Once I send out those emails, then I head on home and then I chart at home. And the most important thing that I have to complete before the end of the day is to send basically the admission notes to the entire team. And this includes the narrative, my assessment, things that the patient needs, those kinds of stuff. So I'd send that out same day so that when the case manager goes in the next day, they have the information that they need. Um, and that they don't have to spend any extra time explaining the benefits or there to basically introduce themselves, meet the family, meet the patient and answer a, any more questions that they might have after the initial visit. Once um, I send out that email, then I will start charting. So there's a lot of stuff that I do have to chart, but again, at first it all seems very, oh, it seems a lot. But over time, it'll get easier because I'll get used to the information and what I have to document. So overall, the, the types of things that I have to chart is a Morse false scale, um, um, the hospice court care coordination notes, the Braden scale, um, inputting all of their medications, doing their initial comprehensive admission assessment, which is like eight pages long, which is not that much. It's basically just assessing each system of the body and then developing a plan of care for any issues or problems that they have. Uh, doing the home health aides plan of care, meaning what the home health aide, who will come in twice a week, what they should be doing. Um, going over the hospice eligibility guidelines review and then starting their interdisciplinary plan of care, which is going to go over the stuff that is just starting their care plan basically. 
and then doing a COVID screening. And that's basically it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna start off doing my narrative and typing everything out and sending out that first initial email out to the team. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be starting off with the patient's narrative typing. The most important thing about doing a hospice admission is writing down why does a patient require hospice and why do they need it now. And that's the most important part is painting a picture and then I also have to follow the guidelines. So the guidelines for a patient, for example, if they were going to be seeing a patient for heart disease, um, let's go something easier, someone for um, cancer, so, oh they have to be all the okay. For example, the criteria for a patient who's in de who has dementia. So the patient has to have either one and two. This is the LCD. So if you guys took mental health, you guys know that in order to, to diagnose someone with a mental illness, you have to follow this certain requirements and what eligibility. So they have to have certain symptoms in order for them to be diagnosed with schizophrenia. That's the same thing with hospice. Um, there's certain stuff that they have to require or certain requirements that they need to meet. So for example, a patient has dementia, they have to have both in section one, or they both have to have criteria that meets something in section one and in section two. So for section one, the patient has to have a stage seven, they are below beyond the fast scale. So the fast scale, well this is seven C or beyond, a fast scale is basically the functional assessment scale to see how functional the patient is, like, you know, how dependent they are, what kind of ADLs can they do. Um, can they talk can they not talk can they not walk can they walk those kinds of things and they have to at least read um, require one or more of the following conditions within the past 12 months so they either have to have had an aspiration pneumonia pyelonephritis septicemia multiple pressure ulcers staging from three to four recurrent fever or other significant condition that suggests a limited prognosis inability to maintain sufficient fluid and calorie intake in the past six months past six months 10 percent weight loss or albumin of less than 2.5 and so they have to meet those criteria and you have to put that in your narrative to meet those guidelines and if your patient meets those guidelines then they are eligible for hospice all right so i finished all of my notes i sent out the email to the team it is 6 23 p.m so it took me about two hours to complete everything um, I'm still gonna go over some stuff tomorrow just to make sure that everything that I did was completed correctly. So tomorrow that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then after that, I'm actually done for the week if we don't get another admission for tomorrow. It is Friday, June 25th and uh, it's at 2.55 p.m. I'm actually done for the day. Um, all I did today was go over all of my charting that I did and then I finish at around 12 o'clock and so I'm like done for the day um, I'm off the clock at 5 so I'm just sending out all of my finished clinical charting notes out to the office because once you complete it you have to send it to the office for them to confirm that everything is good to go and then once that's all good you're I'm basically done with the patient and it is handed off to the case manager and that's basically how the admission is done. A lot of it is focused on taking care of the family and making sure that, um, that they're well supported and that they have everything that they need. I'm still learning a lot about um, hospice and exactly what to deal with, but so far the charting is not that difficult at all. It just takes time and it you need to make sure that you're completing everything as you just need to make sure that you're completing everything as correct as possible. And what I love about charting is that like I could just sit down at home and just like get everything done and not be bothered by anything other than Louie. But other than that, um, I can probably finish an admission in about two hours. Um, like, okay, actually, if you're going to look at an entire admission, I'd probably say it'd take at least about four hours from meeting the patient to getting everything done at the visit and then going home and doing your chart and everything and ordering everything. So it takes about four hours for that. So far, I've only had one admission every day, well, twice this week. And 
that's how it has been a lot of flexibility again and it's just depending on the day the thing about an admissions though is is you don't really you don't have as much flexibility as a case manager because you're kind of just waiting for them to say hey we're ready for an admission we got everything in consents are signed all of that is good to go and then they'll tell me okay um i can do the admission today you know depends on when the patient's going to get home what time like i can go out and see the patient so there are a lot of factors but i am excited to see um you know how everything's gonna go so far the end of this week is pretty chill pretty easy um next week i'm gonna be following two other case managers again um and then after that i'm gonna the following week i'm gonna be following one of our chaplains our social workers and our home health aides uh, one of the home health aides so i can get a whole grasp of exactly what everybody does so that is what i'm doing and that is the plan i know this was a short video and I didn't really follow exactly what an admissions is but hopefully like when i start doing things on my own then it i'll learn a lot more and i'll talk about more stuff but anyways thank you guys for watching um have a great weekend and i will see you guys next week